In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite money plays out of the gun tight slots halfback week in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. Welcome to the YouTube channel. We do tips and tricks like this every single day, just breaking down different ways that you can get better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. Uh, also, if you're looking to get better at the game, I would really can ask you to consider joining our Patreon. That's where I post all of my offensive and defensive eBooks, and we're actually putting some updates in there out of the Cincinnati playbook shortly. So if you want to get all of that content, we've got over 30 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you, full offenses, full defenses. If you want to check that out, uh, there'll be a link in the description below where you can go sign up for just 10 bucks. And today we're taking a look at the play mesh spot out of the tight slots halfback week. Now, this is one of my favorite money plays. Um, there's so much that you can do with this concept that makes it really effective. But really, the the main route, there's really two routes on here that I think are really powerful. The wheel route to the running back and then the deep post to the left side of the field. So we're going to be breaking down the uh, deep post setup today and maybe do the wheel route setup in a future video. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to call mesh spot. And ideally what you want to do with this, especially when you want to run it like what I'm about to show you, is you want your t uh, tight set to be on the right hash mark um, to call this play. Really, essentially, post will drag is really your setup more if the, if the ball is on the other side. And then this is your setup for this side. So this literally destroys 30-yard cloud flats, which is one of the reasons why it is so effective. But basically, all we're going to do, this post route from Chris Godwin is really unique. I like to recommend to people to go ahead and smart route that route. just makes it a little bit more effective, in my opinion. And then from there, what I like to do is just simply put Mike Evans on a streak. I like to take Scotty Miller, and uh, typically what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to put him on a uh, slant route, and then I like to block my tight end so that I can have some extra protection. And then with the running back, what I'm actually going to do with him is I'm going to put him on an in route or you know something like this right here, and then I'm going to motion him to the right side of the screen. If you can see here, he's going to kind of flex out into a five wide where you can put him on a smoke screen. You can do that. That's fine. If you don't want to do that, I have another th another thing that you can do with him. If you don't want to do that, then you can also just put him on a simple option route or out route to the left. So now we're threatening. Um, we're threatening. We've got a nice little shallow cross concept, if you will, to the slant. And then we have the running back on the backside. So if they're not playing hard flats, I can throw that ball right there. I've got the slant right there. And then against a 30-yard cloud, you're going to see that that is super effective for being able to consistently be able to be effective against a 30-yard cloud flat. This play is also really effective against man-to-man -man coverage. If your opponent is playing man-to-man -man coverage, it's one of my favorite plays to call because if you take a look here, you're going to notice that the running back is really going to outmatch their man coverage. And so what we can do with this, just by this setup alone right here, you're going to see this is you know literally no hot rod master necessary. I just have it just so that I can have access to it. But what you can see here is this out route, and then you have this slant coming over here on this other side, and then you've got that deep post on the middle of the field. And by smart routing that post, it makes it a lot more effective. Uh, it makes it a lot more effective against man to man. Now, another thing that you can do with your running back, if you don't like that out route, sometimes that out route can get caught up. Another thing that you can do with your running back is you can put him on, if you do have Hot Master, you can put him on a table route. You can put him on a wheel. I don't really like the wheel because it's going to run into the post. I don't like that. I don't like routes running into each other late in the play. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put him on a swing route to the right and create a high-low over on that side of the field. Um, but really what I like to do is either put him on an out route or if, I really, um, if I'm really having trouble getting the out route to work properly, I'll just put him on a swing to the left. And what you'll see here is this man-to-man -man coverage. You see he can get open on that play. And then what the other thing that this causes a lot of times is it causes this essentially glitch. Not, I don't know if it's necessarily a glitch, but it's a switch off. And a lot of times you'll get this switch off. So what you'll see here is he'll actually see that right there. When you use the swing route, he can actually get man switches. And I'll show you what that what that means for us. For us. So if your running back gets man switches, um, what this basically means is that Sherman is going to communicate to Edwards that I have better leverage than the running back. So I'm going to take the running back, and I want you to take Scotty Miller. 
what the, what happens when this occurs is you'll notice that the man coverage is nowhere near as effective because he's not going to be able to jam him. So you see here, you get this switch off, and look how open that slant route is because he's not able to get pressed because of the man switching that is occurring. We're going to out leverage them in man to man coverage. And then last thing that I want to show you uh, specifically as it pertains to man to man is how effective this route to circle is, especially if you have like slotomatic. You'll see once he crosses, he's going to get open uh, very consistently. If you have slotomatic route tech, even if you have deep out elite, this is one of the better route combinations uh, from this formation. The last defense I want to show you how this works against is the match coverage. Of course, it's going to be able to beat any spot drop zone, whether it be Tampa 2. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. If it is a zone coverage, there's not a zone in the game that will guard it because we have that streak clearing out all of the space. Now, with match coverage, we're going to get kind of some interesting uh, concepts here. But essentially, we want to really look for either our slant or our um, – or our out route match covers to me is one of the better ways to try to defend these plays, but it is very vulnerable against other things. But what you'll see right here is my slant will just absolutely cook the quarter flat. The quarter flat defender is very, um, in my opinion, this year's game, the quarter flat defenders are one of the worst zones in the game because they literally don't guard anything. There's not really much that they do guard um, in terms of how this game is going to play for you. Now, the next thing that I want to show you, though, is that this post to circle um, it actually is not that effective against match. As you can see right there, it's able to be guarded against match. But I will show you um, a little bit of a pro tip in terms of how to make this effective against match. So if you want to make this really effective against match coverage, um, back to my original uh, piece on motioning, all you have to do here is if I put my running back on an angle route or even, for example, an out route is fine uh, or an in route is fine, my recommendation, if you can put him on an angle route, would be what I do. And then I'm going to take Scotty Miller and put him on a flat. So you see, this is my route combination. And I'm going to motion Scotty Miller to the right and snap the ball right about here. And what you'll see is this post route will go from being significantly covered to having a lot more space to be able to work over the top of the defense. I'll show you that one more time. And again, this is – let me actually just drop some – D lineman. Obviously, we're blocking the tight end. So, you know, if you need to get out of the pocket or whatever, you certainly can. But what you'll see with this, you know, do something like this, if you will. Um, let me get the setup like so. Just by this motion alone, it creates a different match principle. And now you'll see that circle is a lot more likely to be able to get over the top of the defense, as you can see right there. So that's how you can use motion in this formation to be able to create mismatches for your offense. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to get my offensive and defensive ebooks uh, to complete this scheme out, I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon. Only $10 gets you access to 30 offensive and defensive ebooks, including some of the stuff out of Cincinnati we talked about today and including the bunch and how you can mix all of these things together to create a really almost unstoppable offensive scheme in Madden. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.